Hello and welcome to a basic tutorial for the app Loopy HD for the iPad. The first thing that you want to do is open up the app. It looks like this on your um, screen. So you click on that and it'll take you to a page. If you've been messing with it already, you may have these sorts of things already in here. These are blank loops and these ones have sound in them. So I'll click this little button here and hit that and reset my session to start with a blank slate, okay? If you do this, you will lose your work if you haven't saved it, of course. So, the first thing we're going to take a look at is this orange sidebar, okay? The, the panel farthest to your right has this on it, okay? Um, here you can choose your time signature, 4 over 4, which is probably what most of us will want to use, like 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four, with one being the heaviest beat. But you can choose three, four, or two, four, or one, four. Um, but four, four is a really great place to start. Your tempo, you can either tap a tempo, so maybe I'm thinking of a song that I want to record, and I'm going, hmm. <laughs> so it will recognize how fast you're tapping and insert that tempo here. Okay, when you click the arrows, it only changes by 0.1 of a, of a beat, which isn't very much. So you can also drag the sidebar to change your tempo. Okay, I'll go with 125 for me today. Now I swipe again this way, oops, and that'll take us to this. All right, this is our pause and play button, and that's about it. This little circle up here shows you your tempo, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That um, is linked up directly with this tempo that you just set, okay? So, play and pause. So if I record something in here, and I push play, <laughs> that, will, that will go, okay? So, the next sidebar tells, or is basically asking you, how long of a loop would you like? Now this is kind of a kind of a weird concept. So one, a loop length of one is one measure, so four beats. So if I'm recording a loop with one measure in it, two, three, four, okay? So if I stop that and I say I wanted to do two measures, do you see how this one it's the same tempo, but it's going around slower. That's two measures, or eight beats. So if I wanted to record over here, it's going around, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so on, okay? So I can choose a length as long as you want, but once you get past about four, they get a little hard to keep track of. So start with, I would say, one, two three and four are going to be the ones that you want to use. Okay? Get rid of these. Okay. And over here is your metronome, okay? So if you turn on this metronome, the one that looks like um, an old-fashioned metronome, this is the metronome that it will give you with a very heavy beat on one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This button um, turns on a light-based one. So if you're recording without headphones and you don't want this sound to happen in your loop, you can use this or both with a brighter flash on one. I find it personally very <laughs> difficult to work with, so I'm not going to use that. Okay, so that's all you need to know here. Your tempo, your pause play, your loop length, and your metronome, okay? So, we're gonna start with a recording. Um, I'm going to record a four bar or 16 beat loop. So, when you get all the way up to the top, here that's when it starts. So right now I'm not recording until this little orange thing comes all the way up to the top. Here it goes. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 
yeah? So this is a 16-beat thing. If I turn on my metronome, you'd find out that I wasn't quite in time. So that's why you might want to use that. Of course, if I recorded it like this, wait for a couple more counts. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum ba dum bum. So even if I turn this off, you can hear it a little bit in the background. So when you're doing this, you just have to be careful, okay? So I'm going to turn this one off quickly, and I'm going to show you a couple more interesting things you can do. So if you press and hold on the center, you can choose import, pan, or volume, depending on what you're looking to do, okay? So one of the, the, neat, the neatest things to me was the import. So if you choose import, this opens up, okay? So you can choose one of your sessions that you've done already, okay? Or you can pick a built-in loop, okay? So I'll show you maybe the Southern Rock Piano. This is only a two-bar loop. You see how this is going around faster than this one? Clearly they don't match up, but the point is you can do that. If you swipe around, you can choose re-record, clear, or cancel. I'm going to clear that one, okay? So another thing you can do um, is pan, and the word pan means to decide if when you're using two speakers, if the sound is coming out of the left and right speaker equally, or more out of the left speaker, or more out of the right speaker, or completely out of the left speaker, or completely out of the right speaker. Okay, so if I'm picking, I'm not sure if it'll work on the iPad, as, um, well, you know, it's only got one external speaker, I believe, but we'll find out. Um, so this right now is automatically set at center, but if I put it 100% left, yeah, I don't think it does anything. A little bit. So this is what you would use if you were playing it out of speakers mostly, okay? Um, and you can also change the volume. So you can do that either by hanging on to that and then pushing volume like that, or since volume is the thing that most people will be messing with, you can just drag around the side, okay? Louder, and this is measured by decibels, or quieter, okay? So I'll leave mine here. So. I'm going to open up a previous session that I did. So I'll push this little button. This one here opens up the menu that has to do with recording and sharing your music, okay? So I'm going to open up a session, which I saved by going into session and clicking Save Current Session, okay? So this is the one that I had open earlier, and I load that, and this is how it sounds. These are all four for my loop length, four measures, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, then it repeats, okay? But if I wanted a shorter one, like an only an eight beat one that repeated two times that it took these ones to go all the way around, then I could do that if I used this here, okay? Times, obviously, times two, divide, divide it by two, divide it by two again, Okay, or you can just go minus, plus, minus, plus, 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 etc. Okay? So, if I wanted to share this, I can either record it. So, let's say I want to record the whole thing, and I'll uh, stop it before I go there. So, let's say I want to record it. I can push the button record, and it will record both. It's just records like a microphone. So, if I have a couple of things in here, and I push play, You'll hear these, as well as if I make any sounds, okay? So I'm going to sing along with this for just a second, um, and I'll show it to you. So. And I'll sing this next part. So let's listen to it really quickly so you know. You can just hit it recordings to find where it is. Oops. 
I already did that one. Oh, it's because I'm still recording. Haha. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> it's this one. So in this way, you can kind of cheat and get more tracks going. Or, for example, if you wanted to sing this song. <laughs> um, yeah, so if, like, let's say I wanted to sing this song and I didn't have a backup, this is what I would use. Um, and I could record myself singing the lyrics over this loop, and then I could just save the entire thing like that. So this is how you would get around, like, oh, well, I want to sing a song, but you know, the main melody doesn't have loops in it, that this is exactly how you would do it. And you can send it, you can copy it to your, um, I believe to your iPad, you can email it, SoundCloud, transfer it to a, like a USB drive, okay? Um, and the last thing I want to show you is how to reset your session again so you can be more creative and do some more things. I hope this was informative. Um, if you'd like, you can let me know in the comments um, and I can make another sort of video with some more of the in-depth things that you need to know to work um, and do more exciting things with Loopy. Here I'm using just my voice, but there are a lot of ways you can use instruments, you can plug them in, um, you can just record with the microphone that Loopy has or that the iPad has um, and do lots of really awesome things. Thanks for watching.